Is that so? You just you just pull the snap ring and flip it around. Well, I don't see no snap ring. As far as I understand in my uh, manual is I gotta take them four bolts out, drain out the whole rear end, take that shaft out, put a different shaft in, swap two gears around, bolt it all back together, and then refill it full of fluid. Which means I'd have to buy the shaft, buy the gears, and I'm just not uh, not into that right now because I only have access to one piece of 1000 RPM PTO stuff that I'm going to be using and the rest is 540 so there's really no point in that. Now what I am going to do eventually is I'm looking for a 1070 rear half like right from here back. Then I can put the quick change PTO in there and have hydraulic uh, PTO. I'll be able to put a updated pump. I'll be able to steal um, hydraulic pressure off the rear pump to run my steering. Because since I put this big thing in here, there's really no good place to mount this where I can get it geared down low enough to not slip. It just slips. That's all it does. And if I get tight enough so it doesn't slip, I just start burning belt. So that's my plan. Well, once I get all that done, it's going to be real handy. It's already pretty handy. Then I need to box out my sheet metal. That chop job starting to annoy me more and more every day.